Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool triple pocket envelope. And we're going to start, you have all the measurements in the cutting guide that you can find a link in the description under the video. So we're going to score our piece at half an inch and four and a half inches and then turn it horizontally and score it at two and three quarters three, five and three quarters, six, eight and three quarters, nine, and nine and a quarter. And all these score lines are going to give us enough space to insert things inside our pockets. We're going to create small spines and these are going to give us the bulkiness that we need. So now we're going to cut diagonally on both sides of the fold lines and on the horizontal line like this. And we're going to do this on all four sides. And then we're going to be left with the top score lines that we have three of them over there so we're going to cut on one side of the lines like we did before but then cut across the score line like this the entire corner this will be the lid of the envelope this is what is going to close it so basically this is ready to be folded. So now we need to go and fold all the score lines. And it's always you good to use a bone folder. And like I said, again, I'm saying that all the measurements are in the guide that you can download from the link under the video. It's in the description. So once we have folded all the score lines, we can go ahead and start assembling our envelope. And of course you'll need to use a double-sided cardstock because both sides are visible in this project. So we have here four pieces, again, double-sided cardstock, and we're going to score them at half an inch, all of them vertically, and these are going to be the front of our three pockets as well as a lid to the bottom pocket. So now we're going to, I'm just going to see the direction one of the sides of my pattern paper has writing on it so I want to make sure that it's not upside down. So now we're going to cut the corners from the score line to the edge on all four pieces and we will be ready to assemble our envelope. So once we have cut all the corners can go ahead and bring some glue. I use liquid glue, you can use double-sided tape, whatever is more comfortable to you. And we're going to start with the top pocket. Fold the score line, of course. Then we're going to apply glue to that little flap and attach it to the envelope. So let's get started. Just making sure that I'm on the right direction with just going to use the other side so it won't matter the direction. Okay, so let's continue. So I'm going to apply glue on the back side of this little flap here and I'm going to attach it just above the fold line, not on it because we need to make sure that the envelopes, the envelope can fold properly. 
and then we're going to fold in the two flaps on the side apply glue to the sides of the front of the pocket and close it like this to create the pocket we're going to do the exact same thing with the other two pockets so apply the glue align it with the fold line and then make sure it's of course centered with the flaps on the side fold them in apply glue to the sides and attach in this way we have two pockets and for the third pocket we're just going to do the exact same thing and, and align it with the bottom edge we're going to fold them in the flaps put the glue and then attach so now we have our three pockets and I also want to add a lid to the bottom pocket because when it folds like this if it stays open things can fall out so I want to close it like this so we're going to apply glue I'm going to flip it so the other side is visible put the glue on and then slide it under the two flaps on the sides and then the lid is ready and now comes the fun part of embellishing the envelope you can use stickers cut out photos or images um, stamping letters whatever you have in your stash and this is a great snail mail thing to send because when it folds it can fit inside an envelope you can put gift cards in it you can put photos inside you can put little embellishments if you want to treat someone you can put money inside anything you want and since we created those little spines then it can hold a lot of things inside and still closed properly and it won't be too bulky so that's why we made those spines for each of the pocket to give it the volume that they need to put things inside so this is a really cool gift to send to someone even in the mail so I'm going to add embellishments to all sides of my envelope and stickers are the easiest way and I also want to add something to close the envelope you can use a magnet you can use um, scotch um, those um, things that velcro or whatever they're called um, and but I'm just going to use a brad and a piece of twine that I'm just going to show you how to do it it's really easy and I've just punched a small circle just adding corners and then I can show you how I add the brad for the closure So I have here a small brad and a, 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 a circle that I punched. Just wanted to glue it down with the string or the twine under it. And then just going to center it on the edge of the lid. Just make sure that the twine doesn't interfere with the center so you can still insert the brad and then the brad is for decoration but also to make it stronger just want to make sure that the twine is not interfering just insert the brad and then just secure it on the other side and you can just close 
your envelope with the twine around making sure that it's secured like this. Just want to cut the excess of the twine and that is basically it. So I really hope you like this project. It's a really fun project to make. You can give it as a gift to someone and like I said, fill it with anything you want, money, gift cards, photos, embellishments, little notes, whatever you want. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. Thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.